Yo, yo, what is up, you guys? So, in today's video, I'm actually gonna do a scripted voiceover style of tutorial. So, you guys let me know if you guys want to see more of this kind of thing. So, let's just get started now. So, welcome to another Modern Trends video. Today, let's talk about what and why FM synthesis is so special. FM synthesis, also known as frequency modulation synthesis, is so great for building up sounds that are harmonic and also inharmonic at the same time. In the world of sound design, that means the programmer has a lot more control of the complexity and tone of the sound as you increase the frequency along. As you increase the frequency, the oscillators get modulated and distorted, and that results in gritty, complex, and super stabby leads. With FM's impact on synthesis back in the 1980s, when the DX7 came out, the most popular synthesizer ever, it's no surprise that later on the digital realm would try to emulate it, such as Spire's FM oscillators. Sound design relies on efficient algorithms, so FM synthesis phase modulation ends up being perfect to work with because it always results in equivalent mathematics. So when we start with a modulating oscillator, then we send that to a carrier oscillator. That modulator oscillator will change the rate of the carrier frequency. And depending on the amplitude of the modulation oscillator, the depth of the changes in the carrier increases as well. So that's the basics of what's going on. So when you start to consider the different waveforms to use, and the routing possibilities, phase distortion, and filtering and effects, it is really easy to imagine how versatile FM synthesis is. So with all that in mind, it's very easy to see how versatile and how great and impactful FM synthesis has been on modern music and some of the greatest synthesizer-based music of the past. So thanks guys for watching, and of course, lates.